the first time that I came to China yes, yes. from Hong Kong was uh, to Canton Fair in 1994. When I in Hong Kong, everybody told me, okay, you are in Hong Kong Fair, but all what is coming from uh, what you buy from Hong Kong Fair is made in China. So you have to go to Canton Fair. When I went to Canton Fair, I saw the same, the same mix but a hundred times bigger. For me it was amazing because uh, improved my, my business to see any kind of, uh, of people. Then I, I met uh, Patrick, I bought something. I began to come, uh, everybody told me, okay, you have to, to come to Iwu because we were in the dollar stores business and you have to go to Iwu, that is the, the city, you can buy everything very cheap and small quantities. If you are a, a retailer, it's the city where you have to be. It's different when you go to a fair like Hong Kong or Canton Fair, and when you go to a city that is a fair. Also, I began to uh, to work with sellers because I went to Nimbo. Mm -hmm. Before sellers I had uh, another trader company that worked for me. I was in Nimbo and I, met, I, I made uh, some orders from many suppliers. One of these suppliers was Sellers Union. I received uh, uh, some cartoons of scales that uh, they didn't work. All the scales were achieved. I talked to the agent. These scales that they, they are coming from Sellers Union, they cheat me because no one worked. So we, uh, I returned to, to Nimbo a few months later and I was walking with the, this agent uh, in the shopping mall mm -hmm. and I crossed with Patrick. And he told me, hey, uh, Leon, because he sold me the scales in Canton Fair. Mm -hmm. Hey, Leon, how are you? Ah, how are you? Yeah, fine. Why you didn't uh, buy from me anymore? Because you cheat me, I told him. Why I cheat, I cheat you? Yeah. Yes, I received the scales and no, no scale, uh, none of them work. No, that's impossible. Is what happened. Okay, so he told me, come to my office. But uh, I am with the agent. No, uh, you must come to my office. He was with uh, Natasha. Natasha the, was uh, the, her secretary, his secretary. I went to the office. It was very near where we were. He told me, I'm going to give you the 2,500 US dollars, he called Natasha and went to the bank and bring me the money. Mm -hmm. And he gave me the money. He gave me the, the money of the scales that didn't work. I took the money and I told him, you trust on me. So now I'm going to trust on you. And the same way I will take this money and uh, you will learn that uh, you earn a customer, but a, not a customer that buy only once and you don't see him anymore. The, for me, the most important, and I, and I told uh, Eric, for example, uh, today he's manager on a high level in, in the company. But uh, he began following me, taking my suitcase and walking around. I always told him, you only need to listen, listen carefully and remember what I, say, what I tell you. If you do like this, you are going to be okay. And I think uh, it went well. The last time that I saw him, uh, he was in a Chinese car and today he's in a Mercedes. But I'm proud of this because uh, it's a confirmation that what I told him 15 years ago mm -hmm. happened.
You see now, Jade is a, a manager of the division here. Yes. He also remember, I told him, listen what I say. I remember, for example, listen what I say. We were driving in the street with a no uh, uh, automatic car. He always was on first. And I, <laughs> I told him, Jade, you know that this car has a second and a third and a fourth? Okay, do it. <laughs> Because, because you are going to break the car. <laughs> he didn't know. So now you listen to so, me. Many stories. Yes. After so many years, uh, I begin to remember and maybe we will not finish. And I'm tired. So let's continue. During the 20 years, they are still the same. The difference is uh, more technology. But the difference that a supplier can do is with the adding value to the merchandise they sell. Adding value means a, a better design, a better exposition, a better treatment with the customer, a better service. The only way is to, to add value because the world today is not looking for the cheap items. It's looking for the best quality. When Tom began with this company, that I began to be one of the first customer, he followed all the advisors that I gave to to him and. Eric and all the people that work with me, maybe many that they are not now in the company, but I remember them. And all these that today still are in the company and they are in the very high level of managing my blessings in these 20 years and hope to see the future 20 years and being and make a better a better video in the next 20 years my blessings and thank you